Uh, I realize I made a slight, small mistake. Uh, you know, sometimes I teach too many classes. Uh, edge Reflow basically will create the directory for you. Adobe Edge Animate doesn't create the folder directory, so I just basically put everything back in a folder. It didn't create the folder on the fly. Adobe Edge Reflow does that, and I just, you know, my mistake on that. So, you know, anyway, I just put this in a folder. Okay, what we need to do is Edge basically opened up the, I'm sorry, Edge created the HTML file. So I'm just gonna move this over to the right a little bit so I can actually see my file name here. And here's the file that it created for us right there, the HTML file. So we're gonna double click and open this up. Now, here's what we need to do, really simple, simple. I'm just gonna go to Window for a second and close this file. We need to basically create a absolute path to all the files necessary to create this application. So what we can do, we already set up our FTP in Dreamweaver. If you don't know how to do that, I have a Dreamweaver course that teaches you how to do that, or you can use any FTP program that you want. But basically you should know how to FTP, and quite frankly, you should know how to use Dreamweaver and you should be taking my courses. So file, file, preview in browser, Firefox. So it's gonna basically launch this to the server testing server, yes, dependent files. Well, we're gonna manually do this, so it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I'm just doing this to get to the path of the file, so I'm gonna say no. And this is gonna launch us inside of a browser window. So here's what I want to do. I wanna take the path. This is the absolute path of the file right there. So I'm gonna take this URL from point A to point B, and I'm gonna go back in the Dreamweaver and make some changes. So here we are back in Dreamweaver. So what I need to do is have an absolute path to this file. So I'm simply going to paste. Really that simple. Make sure it's got the HTTP in there. Make a change, save a change. Now let's understand some very simple deductive reasoning here. So what this did is basically this page here just triggers the other pages that are necessary to make this application work. So here's your edge preload JavaScript. So let's go open that file as well. So I'm gonna open up the preload file, which is this file right here. We need to make some simple modifications. Now, if you're looking at this and your head's gonna fall off your shoulder, well, don't worry. It's really, we're not gonna to touch any of this code. We're just gonna change these paths to absolute paths. So I simply put my cursor right there and paste. I put my cursor right there and I paste. I put my cursor right there. All I'm doing is creating an absolute path to the files that it's looking for. Make a change save a change. Now we only have to do one other change. Command O open. We're going to go ahead and open up the JavaScript file. We just opened up the preload file. We're now going to open up the JS file. And the only thing we need to do to this is have an absolute path to the images, which is right up here on the top, var images. I'm just going to put my cursor right there. And inside the single quotation, I'm simply going to paste, make a change, save a change. So inside of Dreamweaver, because Dreamweaver is already set up to FTP, if I bring up my file manager, all I have to do is upload everything in this folder with the exception of uh, the actual application itself. I don't have to upload the Edge application. I just need to upload everything else onto the server. I'm gonna select this and simply upload. Now I'm just doing this, it doesn't matter what I do here because I'm, I've basically selected all the files I wanna include in this upload. So it's gonna upload this to the server. I'm just gonna pause the video for a second because it's really boring stuff Why it uploads. Okay, now that all the necessary files are uploaded to the server, we're simply going to go and look at the application. So it's gonna take a second to come up here and there's our application. Now, what's really cool about this is this is dynamic, so if I resize this, the images are gonna resize as well because that's how we had it set up inside of Adobe Edge Animate. Really, really cool stuff. Now the same exact scenario is gonna happen for us also inside of Ultimatum. So in the next video, I will share with you how to take this code and put that into your Ultimatum theme framework or any WordPress or basically any site. So as an example, if you're gonna basically put the same exact file structure on your existing server, then there's no real reason to basically do an, alt a, um, an absolute path. Everything could be relative. But if you want to, let's think about this intuitively, if you want to basically do some kind of banner and or advertising like I do, I have, uh, I have over 600 websites that I, that I personally take care of for my own business. 
So I'm constantly putting the same ads on many, many, many different sites, and it, they're all basically an absolute positioning, I'm sorry, an absolute path to those files. For the next video, I will share with you how to very simply take this code and put it into your ultimatum framework. So stay tuned.